welcome to another episode of Community Storytelling. I'm Lisa Chrysler. This is season three. Linda Lester, we thank you so much for all you do for us. And I have two fabulous guests I want you to meet uh, from, from the art world. I love being in the art world for a change. It's so nice. We have this beautiful woman here, Komiko Iwasawa. How did I do? Yes. I have to have you say it, though, because you say it so beautifully. Kumiko Iwasawa. Oh, that's so nice. And Gregory Burns. I'm sorry, I can say your name just fine. But you can say it back if you'd like to. <laughs> Gregory Burns. We will get to Gregory Burns. Both of them have such amazing stories. And different stories, but yet alike. So we're going to start with Kamiko. I have to tell you, I recently moved to Los Gatos. I'm walking down University Avenue the other day. Had no idea I was going to sit down with you today. Walking down, I saw your gorgeous art studio. The home is just beautiful. Did that, was that built for your art studio or did it start as a home? No, uh, we built like this. Did you? To be an art studio. Well, and it's Japanese architecture. Right. And so many Japanese beautiful items inside. Including me. Including you, absolutely. Yes. But I've got to have you share your story because it's amazing. So your studio's been here what, close to 40 years, I think. We opened 1982. Long time. And that is so amazing that you are still here and that you are doing so well. I, I just think that's a testament to, to you. Well. And it is. You should be very proud thank of you. that. Very proud of Everybody's that. Everybody's But you, you came here, I, from what I understand is, one day you said to your mom, I'm going to America. Maybe it wasn't that simple. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's the truth, yes. And what was it about America? You, I know that you, you came from a, a wealthy family, had a beautiful estate in Japan. What city were you in? Hakodate, Hokkaido. I kind of knew that, but I wanted you to say it for me. <laughs> yes, it's a, Hakodate is a, one of the port town. Hokkaido is the second big island. And you came here at what age? I came here first time around uh, 1970. As I a student? Yes. And then came back to the school, 77, went to school upstate New York. In fact, you, in the 1980 Olympics in Lake Placid, there you were holding your flag from home. Right. I was uh, in 1972 Sapporo Winter Olympics also. I worked for uh, Olympic Village Mayor's office when uh, Mr. Brandage, IOC uh, president, came uh -huh. to our office. I was serving tea. Unbelievable. And uh, Mr. Brandage was the uh, owner of an uh, Asian Art Museum in San Francisco also. Now your mom, I take it, did not want you to come to America. I'm not so sure. <laughs> <laughs> Has she come and seen you and also yes, so she very did. proud? That's yes. wonderful. So she used to come twice a year. And uh, she was very impressed about uh, Los Gatos, always well, beautiful town. Yes. yes. So uh, since she was born to be shopper, born to be shop, we opened uh, another store at my hometown named Iwasawa of Los Gatos. So we oh. bought all these uh, antiques from Los Gatos and uh, we opened a little shop. Now getting back to the Olympics for a minute, because I understand love happened. You, you met your husband at the right. Olympics? Yes. Was he an athlete? No, he was a spectator. And he is from? Hungary. Oh. Yes, so my building is uh, designed by Hungarian. So your husband designed this building? Yes. Oh my, is he an architect? No, engineer. An engineer, mm -hmm. close enough. <laughs> and uh, he dreamed somehow for Japanese building. Unbelievable. Yes. What a story. Now. Are you an artist as well, or is that silly of me to even no, ask? No, I am just the art dealer. Oh, good. You so it was not silly of me. <laughs> oh, so she is an she artist. Does calligraphy. She is an artist. Yeah. Now, I, I know that you support so many artists in this community. Yes. One of them is sitting right next to you. Yes. Uh, Gregory Burns. Gregory, you have an Olympic story of your own to tell. Mm. I started training for the Paralympics at uh, De Anza College just down the road in the I hate to say it, but the late 70s. And then I had a, a swimming career that lasted until about 2004. I competed in um, all over the world, but more importantly, I guess, uh, Barcelona, Atlanta, and Sydney Paralympics as a swimmer for the US Paralympic team. Now, what is the connection between you two? 
Well, about five years ago, six years six ago now. Six years ago. Yeah. We, um, we met and uh, Kumiko... You met at an art studio? Or? Yes. At her, at, at at her place. place. At her yeah. place, at, yes. At, at, the ga at her, her gallery. And then um, I asked her if she'd like to represent me here in the area. And she agreed. And we did an exhibition called uh, Mindfulness. So my wife is also a, a photographer. So the two of us collaborated on artwork. And then we showed at Kum Kumiko's. Um, and so now we're actually the, if you fast forward, uh, last summer we decided that we would do something for the Olympics and the Paralympics coming up. So the next plan is we will, I, I have a series of paintings called Olympic and Paralympic Heroes because um, I have been painting um, athletes and ab semi-abstract paintings for a long time and that the uh, body in motion um, has been one of my themes for a long time. So anyway, I have a series that we'll show in her gallery in au July, August. Uh -huh. And then um, ho uh, hopefully without uh, uh, any postponement, we will have a, also that uh, same exhibition will be in Tokyo in the Segagawa City uh, Museum of Art, which will be coinciding with the opening of the Paralympics in Tokyo. We have a big project. Yeah. How fabulous is yes. that, though? And plus, uh, for this uh, exhibition in Tokyo, we would like to make a documentary about his achievement, hope. Yes, yeah, so he is a, a student from UCSF. They are going to make a documentary for us. So, Kamiko, what is it about you and aspiring artists, or what do you see in people? Like, what was it about Gregory that you said, I need to be with him. Yes. His achievement. That? Always. There's no limitation. Yes. I mean, Gregory, I saw some of your work. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a story in every picture, I believe. I think so. I, mean, I, mean, I believe painting is, a, is an expression, maybe self-expression, but I, my paintings have uh, messages, I hope. Um, a painting I, you actually have here in the studio is a painting called Hope, um, appropriately uh, titled, um, but also story, I think a lot of my paintings have to do with um, going without knowing all the answers, or um, in motion we find direction, or uh, one step at a time. So um, my paintings have messages of trying to help for myself. These are self-reflective in a way, but to, trying to remind myself to keep moving forward, even when it gets dark or it's raining or you know things are against you. So helping me as a person to go beyond limitations, and I'm hoping at the same time those paintings may encourage other people to, be go, to go beyond their limitations, because we all have limitations no matter who we are. You know, none of us get out of here alive, I've heard. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so you, you heard right. <laughs> uh, so, so I think having artwork that kind of helps people to move through some of the harder times or, and, or into the joyous times is what my art is about. You sell your art too? Yes. I guess you have to because, you know, we have to live. No. Now, I see you brought a Manresa book. Yes. What is your connection with Manresa yes. so and David Kinch? David Kinch, this is actually... Uh, yeah, if we hold it up, tense. perhaps we can... Yes. Uh, and I am lucky enough to have this book as well, and it's quite a book. So what is your connection with that book? So this is his publication Yes. for his 10th anniversary. And uh, he asked me, could you supply all the dishes for this publication? We work together as a collaboration to make this book. So most pieces in this book has been created by my artist. Really? Yes. Wow. Fascinating. Oh, and, and I would take it, what is the connection with this, these two bowls? Are they in the book? Yes, it's in the book also. Amazing. Everything here, so a person can use same dish uh -huh. with oh. same menu. Oh, very cool. Recipe. Very cool. And how did you get to know David, or how did David get to know you? Local. Yeah, just local. Yes. So you are really ingrained in the community here. Yes. Yes. You have some favorite spots that you mm -hmm. hang out in? Yes. Other than your studio, what are they? Mandesa. Yeah, Manresa. Well, yes. we know that one. But uh, they have a bar also. Yes. So <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to set five hours. Right. Yes, you just go up to the bar. Yes. There are not that many seats at the bar, though. But you're somebody important, so you always get one. No, no, not at all. <laughs> and Gregory, you have a book with you. Mm, and is yeah. that all of your work that you've done over the years? Well, I wouldn't say it's all my work. I, this is called Painted Journey. It's a, 
It's a baby my wife and I had. We have, it took us nine months to make it about the same. Perfect. Um, so we, yeah, we, it's, it's actually, I call it 10 expeditions and exhibitions. It's uh, Laos, Cambodia, Burma, China, Nepal, Singapore, Europe, wow. Hawaii, California. So it's 10, it's 10 um, uh, stories about the travels to those places where I actually sit in the dirt and paint often. Uh, and then the exhibitions of the paintings after that. So it's a, uh, it's a bit of an autobiography, but it only goes up till about a decade ago. And so it's, uh, we need to do Painted Journey too. Do you have children? I, have, I claim I have one, which would be my wife. Because uh, I was going to ask, yeah. I mean, so what did she say? Was the labor and delivery easier in this book or with the child? But you, know, just you just, just answered just, it. No, just to <laughs> clarify, uh, um, I, I claim I have one, which is my wife, and she claims she has one, which is me. So we have two children between us, but we're actually, we have no children. So, I get it. Yeah. I get it. I get but it. But this was, a, it really was a labor of love because um, it did take a long time. And, and working together as a, as a husband and wife, Two artists, uh, they don't. They say two wrongs or two rights don't make a wrong. But anyway, it's you a, have all sorts of messages that yeah. you're giving us today. <laughs> it, 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 it was a challenge to, yeah. to make it happen. But well, very fascinating. So again, um, what will we see if we go? I mean, we're going to go over to what you brought us soon. But what will we see if we go into your your art museum, the Iwasawa Gallery? What what is in there? We have uh, the things you brought, which we're going to yes, get to. Yes. Antiques, Antiques and uh, contemporary books. All right. And you're open how many days a week? Five days a week. Monday through Friday? No, Tuesday to Saturday, 11 oh. to 5. And I was there on a Sunday. I was wondering why it was closed. By now appointment. We know. <laughs> By appointment only, I will yes. call next time. So you know what? We're going to take a break. We're going to walk on over to Leicester Square. When we come back, we're going to look at these unbelievable, one-of-a-kind pieces that Kimoko and Gregory brought with them. So we'll see in just a minute. Community Storytelling, you're watching us at KCAT TV 15. Hi, it's Lisa Chrysler. I'm at Leicester Square right here at the corner of Blossom Hill Road and Los Gatos Boulevard. A lot of fun things to do. Ken! Lisa, I didn't so even nice to see you. Finish my sentence. I'm so surprised to see you. What are you doing here? Well, we live close by and we're taking Rocky to the vet today. So do you have time for a cup of coffee at Phil's with me afterwards? Sure. Is it your treat or mine? It's definitely your treat. And Rocky's coming too. I, good with me. I am so glad to run into you at Leicester Square. It's one of my favorite places. It's one of my favorite places too. And we've been to Varenza and Super Duper and Phil's and we love going here. And so you know where I live, I have no flowers. So I come here to Leicester Square to enjoy all the flowers. They're gorgeous. So the motto here that Linda Lester coined is meet me at the square or meet us at the square or meet your besties at the square. I meet everybody at the square. It's Lester Square in Los Gatos. Come on by and cheers. Yes. Thanks for joining us again. I'm Lisa Chrysler. You are watching Community Storytelling and something we've never done. This is season three. I guess it was about time. We're going to just show you some gorgeous art objects that were brought with Kamiko. Iwasawa from her Oriental Art Gallery, am I calling yes. it? Yes. Did I get all the names in there? So some of these pieces are just extraordinary. So come along with us, take a walk with us. Tell us what this is. We have a calligraphy class once a month, teacher from Tokyo. Wow. One of the students who is the artist also, uh -huh. Lorraine Rasson. She create about this painting with Calligraphy from class. And what, is there a story behind this? Does this tell us anything? I believe uh, this writing is a dream. Uh huh. So uh, she would have to have a painting the, titled maybe Dream. It's or, amazing because yes. I can see it close up and I can see all the different texture on it. That Otherwise, is beautiful. Otherwise, uh, from calligraphy class, everybody is welcome, children to adult doesn't have to have a Japanese uh, language background, but uh, you can join and create something. Beautiful. As an artwork. Beautiful. Now, what is this? This is not a bicycle helmet. I know that much. This is an uh, authentic samurai helmet. Really? A century. samurai helmet? So how old is this? 1600. And where did you get it from? Japan. And you, you bought it or? I, well, you said you have antiques. Yes. This is one of them. Yes. Now, do you sell this, or is this yes. something you just keep for yourself? No, uh, this is, everything is merchandise. Oh, it's amazing. We are in business. 
We could wear this in the Christmas parade, the Los yes, Gatos Christmas it parade, is true. which it you was, were part of a few years ago. It was a truly used as an authentic on samurai hat in the battle. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Now tell us about this piece. This is a Japanese lacquer. Uh -huh. We call it makie from 19th century wow. documentation box from and one of the shogunate family. And what, what is kept in it, or what was kept in it? Documentation. Oh, you're going to open it for us? Yes. Wow. Oh, my. Oh, look at that. That's amazing. So this is a paper from this family, Matsudaira, mm -hmm. who was one of the shogunate from a Tokugawa family. That calligraphy is amazing. Thank you. And then we have a book here, Creativity Within Tradition. This was my uh, 30th anniversary uh, oh. publication. Nice. We have a paper version and a digital publication, uh -huh. which is a free offer to the public. Oh, great. And now we have Gregory, who's been sitting here. Gregory Burns, tell us about this beautiful painting. Um, the painting is called Hope, but it ties into the Olympic Paralympic series. I mean, you, you might kind of see a suggestion of reaching up. Uh, first, second, third place, gold, reaching up, moving up, hope for all of us. So uh, it's just my, my sense of trying to uh, bring some light and lift things up. How long did it take you to make that painting? Um, I often say it takes you know, a certain amount of time and then 50 years to get to the point of I was going to say, are going to do the nine-month delivery yeah. again? <laughs> no, <laughs> not quite nine months, but yeah. It is beautiful. I think paint, painting isn't about knitting, you know, you know, the longer you paint, the longer the scarf. It, painting is more about when, you, when you, it feels right or when your body and your spirit come together to make something that, that does feel right or expresses something that you feel is meaningful, then I mean, that's, that's what works for me. I don't have any idea when I start. I do, I do believe some people have a, an uh, image of what they want to create in their minds and then they go and they create it. I, um, f I, for better or for worse, my mind doesn't work that way. I, my, the way I, I start with a, maybe a color, maybe an idea, maybe a, uh, an image, and I'll start with that, and then it'll, it'll change, and then I'll come to an intersection, and I'll change, and I just keep changing until um, the painting and I have a kind of conversation that says, well, I'm, I'm done now. And, um, but that's oftentimes the most challenging is to know when you're done. I have to thank the two of you. This has been so wonderful. I feel like I've been in your art gallery, and I will be. Someday soon, Please. for sure. 75 University Avenue, Kamiko Iwa, Iwasawa, Iwasawa, yes. said it right. And Gregory Burns, uh, best of luck to you. And thank you so much for telling us a story in every one of your pictures. You. And your exhibit is called, once again? It's called Olympic and Paralympic Heroes. And it will be at Izawara Galley the end of July here in Los Gatos. But then it will also be shown in Tokyo during the Olympics, the Paralympics. Um, assuming as it goes on as scheduled. Otherwise, it might get delayed as well. And it's wonderful standing next to a Paralympic hero. Thank you so thank much you. for being with us. And thank you for being with us today. You have somebody you need to nominate. It's so easy to do. KCAT.org. I would love to share your story or your friend's story or your spouse's story. And thank you so much. I'm Lisa Chrysler, and I love being with you on community storytelling here at KCAT TV 15.